Hello, Mr. Greg. I am your tarot reader, Neeti. Thank you for ordering your reading with us at Zazen Tarot Space. Your question is that you had booked a property and you have already bought the property, paid for the property in full. So this house, it's, it's actually not a house, it's a villa. You have a, a triplex, you have paid for it and you have uh, bought it and uh, you are already getting work done inside the villa. You have also gotten possession of the villa. But now the mediators who had done the mediation during the acquiring of the property, the property agents, the property dealers, you have given me two names. One is Mr. Lopez and the other, the other is Mr. Jonathan. So these two are saying that despite full payment, there is some due pending which they have demanded of you, failing which uh, they have kind of given an underlying uh, concealed threat. So you are a little worked up about the legal consequences of this entire thing. So Mr. Greg, let us see. I have chosen the, uh, over here for the reading, I have picked up as the prime tarot deck, the tarot of oppositions, because we will be reading reversed cards also here. Because in legal matters, there's a lot of uh, nitty gritties and fine things which are best seen using reversed cards. Apart from that, as and when required, you have also asked for guidance regarding the same. So for that, as and when required, we will pull from the other tarot decks and also from the oracle cards if needed. So let us first and foremost see what's coming up for you around this issue of the property. Seven of Cups. Definitely, Seven of Cups represents lack of clarity. And over here, we can see that somebody is quite down and out. So, I'm getting the feeling here that for you in the coming time the anxiety of it and the lack of clarity both these things will really bring you down and you need to be careful about getting depressed about this okay do not give in to any kind of substances I do not see any legal action in this card, okay? King of Cups in reverse. Now, King of Cups is a brilliant card which shows wisdom. It shows understanding. But it is come in reversed. So here it shows someone who can be emotionally manipulative or someone who can manipulate you using your emotions. So you need to be careful not to take this emotionally and be level-headed about it. Definitely you cannot expect uh, with the King of Cups in reversed here, you cannot expect a kind of wisdom or a kind of 
understanding from the other person from the other people you can definitely expect manipulation but then again in the reverse of king of cups i do not see any legal actions coming up here either because your main question was will there be will this reach the courts will i have to be embroiled in a court case regarding this okay so up until now we don't see that happening but yes i do see a lot of stress and i see the emperor here which has come up neither upright nor reverse now this is a unique thing to happen for you mr greg it has shot out by itself and it has come exactly horizontal it was not like this not like this completely horizontal but then it is the emperor card so let us put it like this only now this card the emperor card is about uh discipline it is about having things correct and when it is reversed it is about having things wrong it is about indiscipline it is about lack of structure lack of expecting things to be absolutely the way they should be but what has happened here is it is neither here nor there it's hanging in between so either we will see things swinging between right and wrong penduluming between right and wrong or else this could also show for us uh that it is bordering between reaching the court case but not quite because the emperor sits in a throne he can easily represent the judge over here or the legal proceedings over here so what we're going to do is we will try and pull out a clarifier card here for the emperor can you please clarify for us the emperor this card wants to say something it is the <laughs> seven of swords in reversed seven of swords represents either cheating or being cheated and in reversed it represents being cheated so this is a i mean complex matter complex situation difficult for you to handle a lot of manipulation and cheating so this is what seems to be coming up let us dig in a little more and i want to see what mr lopez is the first name you had given me of the property dealer let us see what his what's going on in his mind okay 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 the magician in reverse very good this is a good card because this card is showing that he wants to trick you he wants to deceive you but he may not be able to take action on this the magician upright is uh, a card which shows uh, having the power to do things having the pow power to set things in motion and when it is reversed it shows of course it shows being a trickster just as upright as magician this is a trickster but then it is about not being able to put things into action he wants to do it but he may not be able to do it for some reason or the other the hierophant okay his intention is definitely to take you to court definitely okay but i i don't think it will happen at least 
with Mr. Lopez, I don't see it happening. Let us see what Mr. Jonathan is thinking and planning and scheming. Oh, the wheel. This is a slightly scary thing because with the wheel, he could really set things into motion because the wheel is about starting things putting things in motion and when it has come up for the action that he could take then he can definitely take action legal action here but the good part is here temperance he may because his intentions are still not bad it is the temperance and it is upright so he may see uh, especially because this card has come like this and the temperance card which is a little about having control over oneself but it is also very much uh, representative of trying to uh, find a balance between things or trying to merge things or trying to find a middle path and then the emperor over here like this horizontally neither upright nor you know reversed so what i see is that both of them do not have complete 100% intention of acting either the action is not there the intention is there or else the action is there the intention is not there so they will probably find a middle path with you on this that is why this card has come up popped up literally like this the intention of cheating is there definitely so probably what it could be is like they will try and cheat you and they will try and come up with some offer wherein you don't need to go to court but it will be beneficial for them they will be able to cheat you in some regard or the other but you will be able to come out of it without too much harm but this is still a picture that I want to confirm with a couple of more cards so let's just shuffle it up a little more especially upright and reversed and let's see what legal action will actually come out of this whether there will actually be any legal action queen of cups reversed it is again king of cups here reversed queen of cups reversed here so yes melancholia but i don't again see any kind of see you really need to be careful about the drinking aspect uh, do not get into it. one don't take it emotionally second avoid dependence on any substance to come out of this and one more card the legal outcome the tower in reverse yes yes quite sure the there will be some middle path there is no going to the courts there is some middle path coming out of it they will be able to harass you i'm not saying that they will not harass you they will be able to harass you but some uh some middle path some compromise will come out i also want to see mr craig the empress in reverse okay I want to see exactly how much harm this will cause you. How much harm they will cause you. So with the Empress in reverse, definitely there will be a huge loss of comfort 
and you seem to be taking things very emotionally and the lover's card okay you may feel like you are left without options and there's a loss of comfort and for a while you may not be able to focus on your personal life also so but i do not see any financial loss i do not really see any court cases or legal implications here okay so that was the answer to your question now you had also also asked for guidance so let us check that out what do the cards want to tell us about how to handle the situation what to do about it and how to handle mr lopez and how to handle mr jonathan okay so for this we are going to change decks and the first i want is to use the astro oracle star codes astro oracle so this for guidance Capricorn achieve you need to be focused you need to be head on you need to be like a goat bull whatever you have to be achievement oriented don't be emotional i see a lot of emotions here do not be emotional about this and i know that you had uh, also mentioned to me that uh, both these people are family friends they are known to your father and you are taking it all wrong all emotionally do not take it emotionally i understand the dark card because they are like family friends and you were very hurt about it agreed understandable but you cannot fight this with emotions you have to be completely emotionless in this fight okay that's your first card for guidance let's put it here next i would like to use the osho zen for guidance conditioning this immediately reminds me again of the family thing there okay uh do not think too much about the family association with them firstly and secondly you can't be meek here you cannot be meek like the sheep you have to be a lion here this is something the cards are repeatedly telling you to be strong deal with it in a very strong manner now i'm going to pull out a card for how to deal with mr lopez and page of cups <laughs> okay do not be child like and again try and avoid getting emotional when you speak with him six of swords with uh, mr jonathan c uh, the temperance card has also come for mr jonathan and six of swords has also come with mr jonathan so any kind of negotiation talks that happen will be through mr jonathan is what the cards are suggesting so i would suggest that do not get into emotional conversations with mr lopez instead get into conversations and good uh, problem solving you know solution oriented conversations with mr jonathan okay so uh, one last card that we're going to pull out for guidance general because we've not used the right away for any right away here so ace of pentacles if they given opportunity to come out of this without getting into a legal battle just take it 
with minimum damage right so all the best mr greg and i hope that answers your question do take care of yourself bye bye